video will feature some of the simple rigs I use to put the camera in the right place without much fuss and expense. Some basic grip and hand tools are required and we'll do a quick review of that equipment first. Humans have been using hand tools for over 250,000 years. The tools we use as filmmakers are a wonderful dichotomy between old and new, simple and complex. Here are some of the hand tools I'll use when making a video tutorial. We use lots of pins in production. This is a baby pin with a spacer and a quarter 20 stud on the end. Screw this into your camera, grip it with the C-stand, and this is the rig I shot the tool montage with. Baby pins can also come with a 3 8 inch stud. If you don't have one, make one. This is called a baby plate, and it's another pin or point to rig from. This is a grip head, an integral part of a C-stand. It can be detached and rigged to a variety of pins. Let's put our 3 8 pin, baby plate, and grip head to work. C-stands are an indispensable tool and unique to the movie business. In addition to holding flags and nets, C-stands can be used for lightweight camera support. In a pinch, they can be used as light stands. and every now and then they'll even be used as a mic stand. If an actor needs an eye line, here you go. There are many uses for C-stands. Remove the arms and two C-stands provide a great base for small sliders. I made this flat bar to hold two cameras so I could get a wide and a tight shot simultaneously. It's also a handy extension to the sliding base plate to balance a large camera and telephoto lens. It can hold two small lights and is also a great offset arm for rigging a small camera in a tight or awkward position. Among many things, sliders are a great way to get some camera movement in areas where there isn't enough room for a dolly. You can also slide the camera on smooth surfaces for interesting results. Dust and shoot at the same time with the Swiffer Cam. I 
call this an Easter basket and have used it for a variety of running shots. On Salem, we operated from butt dollies every day. We also spent a lot of time on low angles, and this seat made the shots a lot easier on the operator. I fabricated some of the equipment featured in this video, and it all works really well for the kinds of projects I shoot on my own. If you can't afford an off-the-shelf gadget, figure out a way to build something that will work for your shot. Always consider safety first, and remember, most movie equipment started out in garages just like yours.